A police officer has resigned after his command staff told him that he could not post interpretations of scripture. Now, this is the fallout after he posted a simple message about biblical marriage. It wasn't hateful. It wasn't violent. It wasn't anything like that. He was told to take it down. He said he wouldn't. And now, 19-year-old Jacob Kersey, who used to work with the Fort Wentworth Police Department near Savannah, Georgia, has resigned. Joining me now is Jacob. Jacob, thank you so much for your time, brother. What's the timeline? Tell me the story. Yeah, well, thank you, John, for having me on and for the opportunity to, to share my story. So it all started uh, January 2nd. I made a post about uh, marriage, how marriage refers to Christ and his bride, the church. Um, and if that's the case, then there's no such thing as a homosexual marriage. Um, the following day, I received a call from my patrol supervisor uh, telling me that I would need to remove the post. Uh, someone complained and they found it offensive. Um, he stated that uh, I would need to remove the post due to separation of church and state. I informed him that I, I would not be removing the post because it violated my deeply held religious beliefs. Um, and he told me I would need to then call the lieutenant, but warned me that this could result in my termination. So I, I called my lieutenant um, and spoke with him and explained to him the reasons why I would not remove the post. He told me that uh, the police department did not want to deal with the paperwork of possible liabilities um, of me um, interacting with members of the LGBT community. Um, I asked, well, if I do everything right, if I do everything professionally by the book and the way it's supposed to be done, I mean, I do nothing wrong. Why is that an issue? He said, well, it's just a, a lot of paperwork and hassle that we don't want to have to deal with. I said, okay, uh, well, I'm not going to remove it. He said, well, he said, well, we're all Christians here. So I'm going to um, talk to the major really quick. Well, uh, less than five minutes later, I received a call from my major telling me that I needed to come in the next morning and turn in all my stuff, everything that belonged to the city. Well, normally, John, when a police officer is told that, that means they're being fired. So I had the long, restless night um, of not being able to get any sleep to think about whether or not I really wanted to lose my dream job over this. Um, Coming the next day, decided that I could not compromise my integrity, my values, and religious beliefs. Um, and told him I would not remove the post. So after about 30 minutes of them trying to convince me to remove it, um, they told me that I was being placed on paid administrative leave. Um, afterwards, it was a little over a week later, um, they brought me back in, told me that I was off paid administrative leave, that I could come back to work. However, they had a new department policy that stated that um, any post that I made um, that was not simply scripture, if it was an interpretation or opinion of scripture or biblical teaching, then it would be a fireable offense if it offended someone. Um, I, I told them that I absolutely would not be able to abide by that new policy. Um, and they told me, well, you can either come back to work and be fired if someone complains, or you can go ahead and resign now. And I, I decided to resign. And, and John, the reason I, I resigned, a lot of people have asked me this. Why didn't I go back and, and, and stick it to them? Well, law enforcement is a dangerous job, John. And it, when you go out there and you put on a badge and a gun and you respond to calls, if you don't have your command staff backing you, if they don't have your back, you're just you're asking for trouble, and it's just I, I thought it was not wise to go back and play that game. Okay, I'm glad you answered that because that was one of my questions. Why didn't you uh, just decide? Because it sounds like the new policy uh, perhaps would have let you keep the old post up, but would have prevented you from putting any other post up that was your interpretation of scripture. Um, that seems like a fairly obscure policy. Uh, what's a, what's an interpretation of scripture? I mean, if you post. Uh, a scripture verse, like verbatim verse, and then put like, amen, or this is encouraging. Or, I mean, is that considered like, because it gives your opinion of it, even if you just use adjectives like that. But wow, that's, um, that's, that's very interesting. Uh, okay, so uh, what's the plan now? What are you going to do? What's next? Well, the important thing is right now is, is just, you know, to allow God to, to use me in, in this story, just to encourage, you know, the believers. I've already had so many, especially young Christians, young adults, reach out to me and say, man, in my own personal life, I've been quiet about scripture. I haven't really taken a stand for the word of God and for my religious beliefs, but I think I'm going to now. I think I'm going to take a stand. And you know, that that's that's amazing to hear, you know, that 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 God is using this to encourage people to stand for his word and his truth, because John, ultimately, that's what wins in the end. As far as going back into law enforcement, because I've had people ask me, uh, there are opportunities for me to go back into law enforcement. Um, I've already had police departments reach out. 
Um, but, you know, I really just want to follow God's leading on this and, and, and see, you know, whether or not he wants me to go back and, and work in law enforcement or, or, or take a career in ministry or I'm not really sure. And, and so long term, I'm just trusting the Lord to lead me and help me make the, the best decisions for my life. You mentioned that uh, other police departments have reached out. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Well, I, I've had several, so many police officers uh, reach out to me privately um, and say that they agree with me. They support me. Um, and that there's other police departments hiring. They've listed names. I've, I've had um, a couple of police departments actually reach out and say, "Hey, if, if you want to come work for us, you you know you can apply." I'm not going to name any specific police department, but John, the fact of the matter is, there's so many law enforcement officers out there who believe the same thing that I believe, and they think it's absurd that when you're off duty, on your personal time, not in uniform, not by your patrol car, you can't state what you believe. Especially, you can't state your religious beliefs. I mean, the the church for 2,000 years has been gathering together, not just merely quoting scripture and Bible verses to one another, but they've been unpacking that scripture, talking about what that scripture means. That's core. That's central to being a Christian. And to be told that I can't do that when I'm off because it might offend people is absurd. And it's not only absurd just because it's me. It's absurd because any Christian and law enforcement could be told the same thing. And it sets such a dangerous precedent, John. It does. And it makes me curious, like, what if you're a, you're a police officer and you attend a church and it's uh, it's not an extreme church, it's your basic, you know, Baptist evangelical church that has their doctrinal statement online and their doctrinal statement talks about uh, their belief on marriage between, as you know, as you know, God intended it to be between one man and one woman. Uh, do you attending that church? Is that a means of you expressing where you, you know, what you believe? Uh, earlier, you had mentioned how uh, your department was saying, like, well, if you put, you know, if you put this thing about the LGTB community up, well, that, you know, then it's liability because if you end up getting in an altercation with someone who is in the LGTB community while you're on duty, that could be problematic. But I'm like, if again, you said it's a dangerous precedent. If we say that, if we say that, you know, having an opinion about uh, marriage can make you liable in the event that you're in an altercation with somebody from the LGTB community, well, where does that end? You go to a church that affirms one man, one woman. Does that mean they're liable if you get in an altercation with somebody from the LGTB community? I mean, come on now. It, 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 does, it does set a, desperate, a, a dangerous precedent. Uh, I'm not sure what they're trying to, to do with this new social media policy. I, it's not going to clean anything up for them. I, I don't see how it would. Um, okay, so you say possibly you're, you might be going into ministry. Uh, maybe law enforcement just following the Lord's lead there. I think that's really great. Uh, this story has garnered a lot of coverage. Um, I, I, I'm glad that you reached out to me a couple weeks ago when this was just, you know, brewing. There are a lot of us who are waiting to to hit the publish button on this one. So, you know, glad that we at least have a story. Uh, do you plan on pursuing any legal uh, action against the police department? Well, we're, we're, we're talking about that now, John, and, and um we're talking to people to see if that's a route. Uh, ultimately, I did I did resign and I didn't go back and just wait for them to fire me because, like I said, I I just didn't want to play that game um, with as dangerous as the job is in and of itself. Um, but yeah, I mean, just the important thing is just to to get this story out there. And, and I've said this before this this would never this would not have been a thing if I got on Facebook and I said that being drunk is a sin, and if I quote you know said this is what Scripture teaches, and then I go out and I arrest someone for a DUI which I've done before, and no one would complain. No one, the police department would be held liable. There, there would be no issues at all. But because the LGBT movement has been so politicized and there's been such an attack on the church in that specific area, um, it's an issue. But it, it's, it's just silly. It sets a dangerous precedent, and we're just going to get this story out there. So, Good word. Well, Jacob, thanks for standing for truth, brother, and I hope all this turns out well for you. I know it will. Uh, you are in God's will. You're not doing anything hurtful or violent or anything like that. You are simply living according to Scripture, uh, according to your convictions. Uh, we applaud you for that, and we certainly hope the best for you. Thank you, John. Thanks so much.